My question is to the Premier. Earlier this morning, Premier, uh, when speaking to the media, you insisted that the Ellis Don bill was a Conservative priority, and that's why you were using extraordinary measures to ram this bill through the House. We all know that there are some Conservative members that have raised very serious concerns about this bill. I know that your government House Leader has been trying to get this bill passed uh, as your government House Leader. And it was the Liberal caucus who showed up en masse in this legislature to allow this particular bill to pass when it was at second reading. So does the Premier seriously, does the Premier seriously expect people to believe that the Liberals had nothing to do with this bill? Mr. Speaker, I, I, I don't know where to begin in terms of correcting the record of what the Honourable Member just said. No one's ramming anything through the House. Mr. Speaker, we stood this morning, I stood in this place and introduced a programming motion which deals with eight bills and the formation of a select committee that would look into the developmental services situation here in the province. What the motion does, Mr. Speaker, as all programming motions do, is it sets out a pathway, an agenda moving forward for debate, discussion, and voting on all these issues. Mr. Speaker, nothing is being rammed through. It is a schedule that's going forward, and as the Premier said, there will be plenty of opportunity for debate, discussion, and votes, and in many cases, including the bill referenced by the member, public hearings into the matter. Yes, Mr. Speaker, there is nothing different from what we did this morning to what we did last spring with the support of the member who just asked you. the question. Supplementary. Premier, you said that you were going to do things differently. You said that you would not ram bills through this House, and specifically, you would not trample on workers' rights. But suddenly, you're doing the complete opposite. And the beneficiaries happen to be one of the Liberals' biggest donors in Ontario. So I ask again, why has the Premier suddenly decided to cut off debate and ram this bill through the House?